Turning around a failing school isn't easy. In the case of one Fresno County middle school, it's taken seven years. In tonight's Education Matters, Juanita Stevenson joins us with what officials say was the key factor in the school's turnaround. Juanita. When Huron Middle School entered the National School to Watch program, it made a seven-year commitment to improve academics and the culture of its school. To achieve these goals, it needed a principal and staff willing to stick around and do the hard work. These students look like they're having fun. Look like they support each other. At Huron Middle School, this kind of school pride, this kind of student participation didn't happen overnight. Principal Javier Gonzalez remembers when events like this one drew about 10% of students. Something has changed. You can't go anywhere if you don't have a vision. So we developed this vision as where's it, where's it we want to be five years from now. The hard work to improve this rural middle school of 375 students started seven years ago when Huron Middle School became part of a U.S. federal development grant. The National Forum to Accelerate Middle Grades Reform selected 18 middle schools from three states to work with. Huron became part of the Forum's School to Watch program. Ever since day one that I walked into this campus, I felt like I was always learning. They worked to achieve academic excellence. Teachers like Tanya Sandoval received more training. Raise your hand if you think that would help you. We've had technology coaches come in. We've had acad um, academic coaches also come in and, and show us how to use um, data for our, uh, um, to drive our instruction. Gonzalez also received additional training, coached by principals from Clovis Unified. But he believes the biggest improvement was the program put in place for students called SMART. Students mentored via advisory room by teacher. We wanted to make sure that every student that walked on this campus had an adult advocate for them. Somebody that they can build a report, somebody that would know who they were, someone that would understand their story and would be able to represent their needs. So this journey Huron Middle School started to improve academics and school culture has paid off. It has been named a California school to watch. This school stood out because of the culture it had created and it took the time to create a very positive, hardworking, collaborative school culture where both students and teachers were able to work together towards the same goal. Officials from as far away as Georgia came to help them celebrate. It wasn't just that they had met goals in academic improvement and in instructional programs and technology. It was also because this staff stayed and put in the hard work. One of the big things we know about schools is stability really matters and that change occurs over a period of time and that when you change administrators and teachers, then you have to start the process all over again. Principal Gonzalez has been at Huron Middle School for 12 years. Teachers have been on staff for many years too. Some like Sandoval grew up here. They know what it's like to grow up in a town where no one expects you to succeed. I know that our kids can do it and we're and they're the same as any other community. They just need to be given the right tools and have someone there to to love and care for them and push them hard and and I think that a lot of that's why a lot of us came back to teach in our community and I think that's a huge factor for our success that we don't give up on our kids. To understand what this means to this group of students, all you have to do is listen to Stephanie Diaz. She tears up talking about her town, the fact that she feels it's looked down on, so insignificant it can't be found on the map. This honor is a big deal for her. We are a school to watch. Some might be proud, some might not. But it's something to be very, very excited about. I'm super excited about this because today, 2017, we're making history. <laughs> 
Now, being at California School to Watch Me's Huron will now serve as a model to other schools, and those schools will now visit Huron to see what they're doing right. Job well done. Yeah. She made me teary-eyed. <laughs> <laughs> I know, she did. It was just so hard listening to her talk about the way she felt about her town. Yeah. It, it was very important for them to be re recognized and acknowledged. Well, you know. seven years of hard work, and it has definitely paid off. And a great principal. Yes. Thank you, Juanita.